What's going on guys? Quickly wanted to mention that I'm sorry this video will be up on Tuesday instead of Monday like I usually do. And that's just because I got caught up with a few things. But I also wanted to mention some other Dolphins news and updates throughout the season and what the rest of our season could potentially look like. First off, I'm going to jump into our Jets win and the Dolphins finally look like themselves yesterday. Other than a few uncharacteristic turnovers, which I will mention did look bad, especially against the running backs. We need Miles Gaskins back and we need Ahmed back because they are both solidified themselves as the one and two punch for the Dolphins team with two attack by Lola especially coming back if we can't get that run game and especially without Ryan Fitzpatrick throwing turnovers which he did not he actually did have a pretty decent game 250 and two touchdowns other than that Devontae Parker played amazing and his defense stepped up and played the way they should first off can we just mention really quick how amazing Xavier Howard is he has seven interceptions on the year. He's doing virtually the same thing he did in 2018 when he stayed healthy throughout the whole season. This guy is a turnover machine, and I love this cornerback. He's probably one of the best corners in the NFL, if not the best. Seven interceptions in 11 games? Like, come on. Those are ridiculous numbers. He's on pace for virtually 10 interceptions on the season. I haven't seen that in my whole lifetime other than maybe Ed Reed getting that number. I don't even think Ed Reed ever got that number. But anyways, Xavier Howard is playing amazing football. This defense as a whole is playing really, really good. Other than us lacking a little bit of pressure that we did get earlier on in the season, I think we need to step that up. And I think our secondary is playing pretty good. If I had to estimate that Byron Jones needs to step up a little bit if we're gonna compete against the really, really good teams. And when I say that, the really, really good team that we did get shift into prime time with is the Las Vegas Raiders. I almost fucked up and said Oakland Raiders, but the Miami Dolphins and Las Vegas Raiders will play in their matchup on Saturday instead of Sunday, and it will be a prime time game at 815. So yes, this matchup indicates whether we will make the playoffs or not. And I'm gonna say this right now, if we lose this game, we probably will not make the playoffs because our remaining schedule includes the Cincinnati Bengals, which we should win. Like we better win that game. They are probably just as bad as the Jets. Other than a kick return touchdown, I don't think they scored any points in their game over the Giants, except for a few field goals. So the, the Bengals without Joe Burrow are a really, really bad team right now. And the Dolphins should single-handedly beat them and beat them by more than a touchdown. I'm pretty sure we're favored by 11 points, which is a really, really big number in any spread. If you ask me, some other teams we play are the Kansas City Chiefs, which I'm sorry, but we are going to lose that game. Patrick Mahomes is the real MVP of the NFL and Tyree Kill is unguardable. I don't know if you guys saw their game, but I won my fantasy matchups because Tyree Kill, he had 270 yards and three touchdowns. This team is unstoppable right now and I don't see this Dolphins defense getting in the way of that. Other teams we play are the Raiders, which is that primetime game. And then we play New England and Buffalo, which are the two other really important games. New England at home in my Miami and Buffalo on the road in the cold. I am very, very scared for that game because that could still be a divisional matchup. I'm pretty sure the Bills play in prime time this week as well against the 49ers. So that is a big matchup for them that they could lose. And we could have the same record as them, especially if we go and do our business against the Cincinnati Bengals. So we'll see what happens with this Dolphins team. I love the way we played against the Jets. We are back on track, back to our winning ways, even with a few turnovers. We still overcome them. We didn't collapse. We still overcame those turnovers that we had, unlike most Dolphins teams in the past that would crumble and show defeat and wouldn't win in those key games, especially when they're not performing too standard or performing well enough to beat the other team. So obviously Brian Flores has turned the ship around and this Dolphins team is back to its winning ways, if I had to guess, against teams that are no good. Brian Flores has this team at a high, high standard, especially when we're healthy and good to go. Christian Wilkins and Raekwon Davis played really, really good on our D-line also. I have to give props to Raekwon Davis. Every time I watch this guy play, he had a half a sack in the Jets game, but every time I watch this guy play, he flashes crazy athletic ability. He could be a freak if his motor and his engine continues to turn because this guy is so good. I'm surprised he went in the second round. I see what Brian Flores wanted in this guy. 
he is a monster when he wants to compete and get him to compete so we can show that monster ability consistently game in and game out but other than that i love this dolphins team i love what we're doing we'll see where the season takes us we need to win the games that we need to win to make the playoffs and right now i'm pretty sure we have a 55 percent chance to do so we currently sit in the sixth seed in the wild card race if i were you guys the next team i would be rooting to lose is the baltimore ravens against the pittsburgh steelers which will happen now on wednesday because of covid and i know covid has messed up a lot this season but this dolphins team needs some luck to get in the playoffs just because our remaining strength of schedule is still a little mysterious so maybe if we go 500 we'll make it but we still need to win this, these key divisional games and we still have two left so we'll see what happens guys if you like the channel please like this video and subscribe more dolphins video to come fins up baby let's go